Hey, I'm Eric Cooper, President and CEO of Your San Antonio Food Bank. Welcome. I'm excited to take you on a tour and show you what happens here at our food bank. Come on. So for families in need that are needing service, when they come to the food bank, they come upstairs to our client services department where we help them in three areas, food for today, food for tomorrow, and then food for a lifetime. Let's go check it out. So it's this area that families would come to get assistance, whether food for today, tomorrow, or a lifetime. Today is about a referral to the closest emergency food pantry. Tomorrow is about enrolling in public benefits, and then food for a lifetime is really about workforce and job training. Keep coming and we'll show you what happens here. So here's where the food for the lifetime happens, and that's really about workforce and job training job placement. We truly believe that people should work according to their ability, but receive according to their need. And so we want to make sure people's basic needs are met, but while providing an opportunity then for them to move towards self-sufficiency and self-reliance. Another component around food for a lifetime for us is about nutrition education and making sure people get access to the best possible nutrition or learn how to get the best nutrition for the dollar. So our team of registered dietitians, nutritionists, and holistic chefs teach that. Come with me. So this area of the food bank is where people come that are giving service. This is our volunteer lobby, and literally over a thousand volunteers a week come through our doors. Now those volunteers come from corporations, churches, uh, families, uh, clubs, any type of group is always welcome and all ages are welcome. The three things that they primarily do is working in our kitchen, our warehouse, or our farm and garden. So our volunteers are always a big help. They help us pack boxes here in the warehouse um, and this is the sorting room. Oftentimes when people donate to food drives, those individual canned goods need to be categorized, sorted, inspected, and then put into boxes where they'll be shipped to families. You can see lots of food that needs to be sorted and we wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for our volunteers. So this is the kitchen and the kitchen produces thousands of meals every day for children. Now, the food that's cooked here is delivered out to lots of different organizations where kids gather. During the school year, it's the KIPP Academies and after school programs, and then during the summer, our summer strategies. We make sure that no child goes hungry in San Antonio, and this kitchen is a big tool in making sure that no child goes hungry. So as I mentioned, it's not just non-perishable food the food bank distributes, but also perishable. More than half of what we distribute is perishable, and about 40% of what we distribute is fresh produce. So the food bank is always a pretty cool place to visit. Ta -da -ta. Our freezer usually is at zero degrees. It's where all the frozen products are stored. It's literally freezing in our freezer. It's where all the frozen foods are kept. Whether frozen turkeys for Thanksgiving or frozen hams for the holidays, all of the things that are frozen are kept here in the freezer. Make sure you don't stay in here long. So I hope you're enjoying the tour of the San Antonio Food Bank. Now we're outside in our farm and garden. Behind me are our growing beds where people come to actually learn how to grow their own fruits and vegetables. When you come and volunteer in the garden, you're gonna learn lots about what grows here in San Antonio, the three growing seasons, and how to produce a big bounty of produce. Come with me and I'll show you a couple of the components here on the farm. All right, so these are the greenhouses at the San Antonio Food Bank. They are used to grow crops hydroponically. Come in and we'll check it out. So here in the greenhouses, our staff are able to grow different items hydroponically, which is an alternative way of growing fresh fruits and vegetables. Here we've got a lot of herbs that we're growing. The water comes from the tank, it irrigates, and then what water is not consumed 
goes back into the tank and that just keeps recirculating. It's a different way of growing. It's against the conventional ways, which you saw earlier, but it's a complementary strategy that people learn about when they come here and all the food that's produced then goes to families. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of your San Antonio food bank. Lots going on. You've learned about where people come in to get assistance and then where volunteers come and where they give support. You've seen our warehouse, our coolers, our freezer, our garden, our shipping docks. I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to take the tour with me, but I also want to see you here at the food bank. So please accept my invitation to come make a difference and set the table for those in need throughout South Texas.